For the first step, we're going to head over to search and type in CMD. Then we're going to run it as administrator and then click on yes. Once we're on it, we're going to type in power CFG space hyphen requests and click on enter. You want to make sure that everything here says none. But if it says anything here, it will tell you which program that you need to disable, which should then fix your problem. But if everything here says none, then we're going to type in power CFG space dash device query space wake underscore armed and click on enter. By the way, all these commands will be in the description below, so you can just copy and paste it if you want. If you're getting anything here, such as HID keyboard device or HID compliant mouse, you want to head over to search and type in device manager. Click on it. Now, in the case of HID compliant mouse, we're going to expand mice and other pointing devices. And then here it is. We're going to double click on it and then click on power management. And then you can turn off allow this device to wake the computer and then click on OK. And then just repeat that for everything else that comes up. Next, we're going to head over to search and type in edit power plan. Click on it. Once we're on it, we're going to click on change advanced power settings. Once we're on it, we're going to click on restore plan defaults and then click on yes. I'm not going to do it in my case, but you want to do this because maybe you changed the setting by accident. So you could just go back to the default settings. Once you do that, we're going to scroll down and then expand multimedia settings. Then we're going to expand when sharing media. And then everything that comes up here, you want to click on allow the computer to sleep and then click on OK. Next, we're going to click on power options right here. And then we're going to click on choose what the power buttons do. Then we're going to click on change settings that are currently unavailable. Once you do that, you want to untick turn on fast startup and then click on save changes. After you do everything in this video, restart your computer and the problem should be fixed.